Hi YouTube, Lillian's Art Studio here. I just wanted to do a quick um, update on the greeting, recycled greeting card journal slash junk journal that I did. Um, you know, I found wonderful inspiration from Jenny Belly and um, of, of course Marianne Kings, Kingsley, I think her name is, but um, just some of the inspirations I have gotten from YouTube and this is what I ended up doing I just tied some bows right here largely I left it undone so she can fill it in with the things that she loves and this little heart I got from I made using Crochet Geek's art video um, some of her YouTube videos and um, this butterfly tape is decorative tape that I got from the Michaels $2 grab bag. I had to stick it on with some glue because it kept sticking, it kept unsticking. And this is mostly undone so she can, you know, embellish it the way she wants. And what I ended up doing for the closure was to, um, sew in some buttons. You know, for a little bit more stability I put some material here and this is actually yes the same material right there my husband just upholstered his first wingback couch Ooh, sorry you guys are going blind um, and he had a lot of material left over so you know I'm gonna use them in some projects but this is the clasp I did just a little silly band rubber band um, some more of that tape some uh, scrapbooking paper, um, some swatches here, and I made these little enamel tiles from scrapbook paper and glitter and nail polish, clear nail polish with, and um, colored nail polish actually, and it turned out well. Um, it took a long time for it to dry. If I dried it properly, it probably wouldn't be so tacky but it's actually not tacky anymore since it's been like three weeks <laughs> but um, I just added some ephemera um, journaling spaces I've left some undone as you can tell so she can you know add a lot of her th own things I added some paper stamped paper for journaling um, some more here an envelope and another uh, another tile here these were just you know like samples that I did so they were you know I didn't cut them too nicely but I didn't want to waste them so you can see some of that glitter there uh, okay next page and just some some just lots of different things um, that she can stick in there some paper Right here, I did this one, and I put a little rock there. Um, you know, I hope she has fun with this, because I sure had fun making it. Um, it just so happened that my friend's daughter's birthday is coming up, and, and I know they're kind of artsy, and they would enjoy it. Um, I put this here, some more of that tape. And then it's like a little pocket here she could do. Just journaling spots. Um, I'm sorry. sorry, it's kind of dark, but this is the best I can do in this rainy weather. A library pocket that I just stuck some raw canvas to and stamped. And this, you know, want to use all the space you can, you can use. So... I think it turned out really well, Some <laughs> just some random things. Um, I made this little pocket out of a tag, oh, what is it, a ticket stub. I stamped it up and then just added a little ephemera there, the little army lady. And then I used this, my niece, one of my niece's hair stuff that she has left at my house, another one of those tiles enamel tiles. You can hear it, that one has gotten pretty hard. Um, not enamel, but you know what I mean. Um, another crochet heart that I did. 
some spaces, and here's a tall envelope that I just stuck back into. Um, you know, and this one here, I don't know if you can see it, some glittery. That's another tile over scrapbook that I did. I really liked it. That's the, actually the one that, when it turned out, I just loved it, and so tried a whole bunch. But it took forever to dry, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, just some more little tuck spots. A little bit more, some more things here, and this one here is a three, is a flat card that I just painted, so she can have more spots to write in, or pick, put pictures on, and I did glaze them with some medium, so that way if she wanted to write with a pen or a marker, maybe something that stays fast, um, permanent, that it would be able to go sit on top of and not get sucked in and then disappear in the acrylic paint but I added some more of that um, paint and this is an original artwork that I did in one of my in my drawing a girl's face and then some a little envelope and notepad I mean envelope and letters thing that I put in I just tied it with this little bracelet that one of my neighbor's girls have made me. I thought that would be kind of cute. Just some more journaling, journaling places and um, a little mini journal that I made. Um, yes, these are Studio G that I just cut up some scrapbook paper stuck in there and I bound it just regular Binding, you know, cut here, cut here, and then tied with some, some of that um, beads that I got from a broken jewelry. From broken jewelry, but it's just some more tuck spaces. You know, I wanted a lot of places that she can tuck little notes into um, that she would just find. Another one of these tiles that I did. This one is still tacky, actually, and I wonder if it's could be because of the type of nail polish I used. I'm sure if I got OPI or something, it would definitely stay. But this is another in um, three flapped. And then what I did was this was a you know the things you get at the visitor center. And all I did was just tape it on there with some homemade washi tape with some dirt journal. Uh, sorry, I'm all tongue tied. Journaling spots here. And then the last page or the back of the book is a big, huge envelope that, you know, had the silver thing and I just loved it. And I put another piece of original artwork right here. And what I ended up doing was putting. A brand new journal inside that I got from the Michaels $2 grab bag and just it was the perfect size I was thinking of making another journal but um, that actually you know went with the picture and so kind of with the theme of the book and then I just um, paste uh, glued ephemera down on there then put some matte medium on top so it wouldn't get stuck or anything like that um, you know, she was just one of my doodles that I did. And that's how I did it. Um, the back is really undone. But, you know, I really want her to have fun and, and use her imagination. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, let me know. Tell me your thoughts. And I appreciated all the comments that I've been seeing. Um, just let me know. See you guys out there. Bye.